following video may contain content not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second ever God Awful Games Quickie, a review of a craptastic game in a nice little bite sized portion. Tonight, I will be reviewing Karate Champ for the NES. This game is a port of, of an arcade game from 1984, and while I've never played that version, it has to be better than the fucking NES version. It really does, guys. This game really doesn't have a whole lot of of a story. You basically just fight off some random dude, and then you have to break or dodge flower pots, and then you fight another random dude with just a different background behind you. That's it. There's no actual motivation to any of this. However, seeing as how this is a fighting game, a story really isn't important. Now, this game actually does have a couple of positives. Graphically, the game looks pretty good for a game from 1987. It really does. Um, and the music, what fucking little of it there is, is awesome. And the voice work in the game is shockingly clear for a game that came out way, way back when. And now for the negatives. First off, this game has some of the most unresponsive controls I have ever had to fuck with. And when the controls do fucking work, you have no idea what attacks your character is going to be throwing because the game can't make up its fucking mind what combination of buttons does what. But the only thing that is accurate is that one button will attack forward, the other button will attack backwards. That's it. And if you think and if you think that the game's controls are just a little bit fucking schizo, the hit detection is even worse. You will often see attacks clearly hit your fucking opponent and there is and he does and he doesn't try to block. Alright? You hit him clearly. He doesn't block. The game doesn't count it as a fucking hit. That's bullshit. And at times, both fighters will, will just seem to be randomly flailing and just beating the piss out of each other while never scoring a single hit. Now, if you think this game might bring some sort of actual challenge, uh, no. No matter how many fights you, you win, your opponent never gets harder. The only ways to get a game over are if your opponent gets a few lucky hits too many on you, or if you just get bored out of your fucking skull and you decide to quit playing the game. And that will probably happen long before you actually get a game over. Trust me. But out of all the things which this game has wrong with it, there's one thing above all else that it, it really isn't wrong as much as it's just irritating. Every time that you win a fight, your character does this lame-ass little jumping celebration. What the hell is this? Why the hell is he doing this? Is he having a seizure of some sort? Did a bug, like, climb down his shirt? Why is he doing that? Look, folks, I really can't say anything else about, about this game. It sucks. Plain and simple. Muttley, verdict please. <laughs> 